f of x be a quadratic polynomial in x such that f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all real numbers. And so, nice. So, f of x equal to, is greater than or equal to 0 for all real numbers, like something like this, curve like this. Right? So, a curve that is completely above the x-axis, where it doesn't touch the, because if f of x were 0 for some number, it will touch the x-axis. It will cut the x-axis. Wherever it goes to 0, it will cut the x-axis at those points. Those point. This is a graph like this f of 2 equal to 0. Okay, f of 2 is equal to 0 and f of 4 is equal to 6. So, f of 2 is equal to 0. What does that mean? I remove this. And I say, okay, this is not flying above the x-axis. It is touching the x-axis. f of at 2, it goes to 0. Okay. Or this has two roots, both at 2. This, this cuts off at 2. Or this is of the form x minus 2 whole square. It's a curve x minus 2 whole square. Now, f of 4 is 6. I thought it was x minus 2 whole square. I was very happy. Then I got f of 4 equal to 6. f of 4 is 2 minus 2 whole square, which is 4. It's not 6. And I said, look, it's not x minus 2 whole square. This is a curve which is k times x minus 2 whole square. It cuts at 2. It touches at 2. So, there's two real roots, both at 2. Ah, this is from x minus 2 into x minus 2, x minus 2 whole square, not just x minus 2 whole square, k times x minus 2 whole square. Right? That is this curve. Nice. f of 4 is 6. So, k times k times 4 minus 2 whole square is 6. k times 4 is 6. k is 6 by 4, which is 3 by 2. Or r curve f of x. 3 by 2 times x minus 2 whole square. This will be f, this will have f of x greater than or equal to 0 for all real values. This will have f of 2 equal to 0. This will have f of 4 equal to 6. Everything gets satisfied. f of minus 2 is equal to, so this is 3 by 2 times minus 2 minus 2 the whole square minus 4 square 3 by 2 into 16, 3 into 8, 24. The understanding of what that means that f of x is greater than 0, that means flying above the x axis f of x is greater than or equal to 0. It could be flying or touching. It has, so, so it does completely greater than or equal to 0, but with one point equal to 0. That means it has real and equal roots, both roots being 2. It is of the form x minus 2 whole square. What do I mean of the form x minus 2 whole square? k times x minus 2 whole square. I wrote this down as x minus 2 whole square and I was like, this doesn't work. Like, no, no, it's a multiple of x minus 2 whole square.